The Computer Center for Visually Impaired People at Baruch College, City University of New York, product demonstration. Hi, welcome back. It's Gus Chalkis again from the Computer Center for Visually Impaired People. And once again, I'm sitting here with my partner in crime, Lynette Tatum. There you go. Our, our senior instructor over at CCVIP. And today we're going to be looking at the, just as a note-taking device or as an all-around good tool, a netbook. Um, We've found over the last couple of years mm -hmm. that a netbook is just a really good, um, it's a, a solid, good little device. It's inexpensive. It it's portable. It's most of them come in at just around two pounds. They usually have between eight, I'd say six and mm -hmm. eight hours of battery life, which is more than double what most laptops have these days. Definitely. And it, it's just a really nice, neat little package. And when it folds up, it's pretty slim. And I'll, I'll do that when, when I complete because I don't want to turn it off right now. But And definitely, um, it's yeah. a good productivity tool in terms right. of being able to put on uh, Microsoft Office. Mm -hmm. But it's a fun thing, too, in that you can do podcasting, blogs, anything you can do yep. with your larger desktop or laptop you can do with this netbook. I do anyway. Yeah, it comes with a built-in webcam, yes. it's got Bluetooth, it's got Wi-Fi, it's got like all of the stuff that you would want in a computer but mm -hmm. it's in a nice little portable package so that you can um, you can have it with you wherever you are. So on this, I'm going to turn it around now, but on this particular device we've put JAWS. Yes. And the reason we put JAWS, actually we tried to put Zoom text on it to see how magnification uh, works and besides besides the fact that the screen is kind of too small to be mm -hmm. doing magnification on, we also found that the device itself wouldn't wasn't able to handle all the video um, requirements. If yes, you will. thank you. Mm -hmm. The video requirements for for something like Zoom Text, which uh, you know provides magnification, so it's a good device to use with Jaws or another screen reader. I've also used it with NVDA and System Access. And um, this one we have here is is an Acer, and I don't recall the model, but that's okay. <laughs> they're, yeah, and they're usually 160 gig, mm -hmm. you know, one gig, what is it, mega, one gig of one RAM. Gig of RAM. Mm, a pretty uh, decent heart, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Pentium processor. Yes. Um, there's no CD-ROM drive, there's multiple USB ports, there's yes. an SD slot, mm -hmm. uh, and it, like I said, it's just a really nice little device. Yeah. I've connected a standard size keyboard to it so that I can demonstrate it while it faces you. <laughs> so I'm just going to do just a few things that, I, that I'm able to do with the mm -hmm. computer. And why don't I just plug in the speaker while I'm at it. So and even though it comes with... Uh you know, Wi-Fi capability, there is a port to plug in the what they call the Cat5 cable for the internet. Oh, really? mm -hmm. On the side here. I think it's on your side, the uh, yeah, that's audio right. cable. Oh, the audio? Uh, okay. I think you've got it. Realtek HD Audio Manager Dialog. The current connected devices colon dialog. Which device? List box yeah. not selected. No selected item. JAWS. No sel... JAW. Enter. Speaker configuration. My okay. Title is Realtek HD Audio Manager. So this is the... It has superior sound. Yeah, it has really nice sound on it. I mean, obviously this is through the headphone jack, but I'm able to control it, like obviously because I use JAWS and I don't really need to look at my screen, so I can mm -hmm. go to my desktop. This this particular netbook is running, running Windows 7. Windows M, desktop, folder view, list view, not selected, drip, one of 18. Oh, That's what we've named our My Documents folder because with Windows 7 they ask you to, they actually name the My Documents folder after <laughs> the owner, so it kind of goes like that. Mm -hmm. So it's named CCVIP. Computer, Network, Recycle Bin. And I can use my arrow keys on my keyboard to navigate through, um, through the different items here. But let's say I wanted to go to Word and uh, type a note. W, Word 2003. Okay. Enter. Just press Enter there. Um, JAWS, document 1-Microsoft Word, edit JAWS. Great. So this particular one, uh, this particular netbook, and most of them, they come in two flavors. One is like an 8.9-inch screen, and the other mm -hmm. one is like an almost 10-inch screen. The 10-inch screens seem to have been more popular yes. over the, you know, since these devices started being released, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, definitely. Um, the smaller one, ten, the keyboard started to get a little smaller, and... Uh, although this keyboard is quite compact and I have pretty nice sized hands and I'm, I have no problem, you know, using it as I'm uh, going through the um, 
through the motion. So I'm just going to type a little note here. H E L L O space E V R O E S O U S E R I S C Y B E R S P A C E period and enter. Ops A O P E S W U O E T A J O Y F G space T A S P R E A E S H I O N period. And I can go back up to the top and read it back to you. Top of file. Hel hello everyone out there in cyberspace. I hope you're enjoying this presentation. That's all it said. And and like I said, you can you can do I do my emails on here. I have um I've well you can't use Outlook Express well, anymore because well. this is Windows seven. But if you install mm -hmm. Office, you can have Outlook or Correct. you can use Thunderbird. products like Thunderbird or Windows Mail. Mm -hmm. Um or Windows Live Mail Windows these, Live days. Mail, yes. these days. Old tab, real tech HD, old tab, Google Dash Windows Internet X. And I can use it to surf the net. And this is primarily what this device was created for, is really for web surfing. Mm -hmm. People, um, you know, are able to go to any website they want. I'm going to go to our Control website. Control O. Okay. D -d Double period. B A R U S A P R U N Y P E D U. Slash V I P. Enter. Google Dash Windows Internet Explorer unavailable. Search edit. 58%. 100%. C C C V I P Dash Barrage College. Search edit. And is this our new website? I'm see? not sure if our new website is launched. Heading level 2. Same page link. Skip to main cot vertical bar. Link text dash only version. Link hmm, graphic Barrage same. College. Link. You're right. Heading text level text. 1. Link computer center for visually impaired people. And exactly. using just like I said with Jaws and with this device, I can use just my keyboard to um, to navigate through the web, Land. through the pages. How can CCVIP help you? Heading level CCVIP demo center workshop. Heading level three, April 9th, hmm. 2010 conference. Heading level three, the computer center. That needs to be updated yeah, really, a little bit. Really, just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's a link to the to, exactly. our, to our last to, conference, right, which was on right. April 9th. Our next one's coming up April 15th, 2011. About CCVIP heading level plan. List of six items. Link mission statement. Okay, so let's say I wanted to see the mission statement. I could just enter, enter on that link. About CCVI mission. History heading level three. Funders heading l accolades and the computer center for visually impaired people heading level four. About CC contact us wrapping to top heading level what two. Same page with vertical bar. Oh, computer land nice. list of eight items. Link home. Link list of one items nest about CC heading land. The mission of the CC VIP is to increase the freedom, independence, and productivity of people who are blind or visually impaired through the power of digital technology. We accomplish this through training the research, product testing and development, and community awareness initiatives. Okay. okay, that's our mission statement, and that's what we hope that we're accomplishing through these videos as well. So, um, uh, these can be purchased pretty much anywhere. Like, you can yeah. buy electronics or computers. We've purchased Amazon. them from Amazon. You can find <laughs> them at Best Buy, yes. JNR, Computer World, wherever, wherever electronics are sold near you. And on average, I've I think we've bought this one for about two hundred and fifty dollars. You can find them between two hundred and fifty and mm -hmm. four hundred bucks depending I was on say what some the, of the features more high are. End, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, still four hundred. And they work really well. I use them for for skyping and video conferencing and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. they work. They're they're actually really nicely put I together. I use it for podcasting. Podcasting. Yeah. I can yeah. even I even have on mine. I have editing, sound editing software. That's so fantastic. I can, yeah. Okay. So that's a netbook with uh, JAWS, and we hope you've enjoyed it, and we look forward to seeing you back again. Thanks. Sure do. Bye. Bye. The CCVIP demos are funded in part by the Aileen Royce Memorial Trust, New York Community Trust, and Reader's Digest Partners for Sight Foundation. Visit us at www.baruch.cuny.edu slash ccvip.